I've made a 3D animation here, stop motion, using Stop Motion Pro, Sony Vegas 10, and a Mark Roberts stepper unit, and I've been able to output it to YouTube. So one of the good things here on YouTube is it's got a little uh, option down here which lets you change the way it's displayed. So if you're at home and you've got some red cyan glasses, you can simply flick it into that mode and watch it with those glasses. Or, uh, as I have, I've got some little parallel glasses here, so I can just hold those up to the screen and I get it in 3D. So, how do we go about doing this? How do we, how do we make our own 3D stop motions? Well, let's have a little look here. Here's Stop Motion Pro, and uh, as you can see, I've got a DSLR set up here with a Mark Roberts capture rig. And basically what happens when I capture a frame, uh, I press one button there, a signal is sent to the, the camera to take a frame, another one is sent to the rig to move the rig to take the second frame for the left eye, and the camera then goes back automatically into the starting position. The camera distance, or the way that we control the camera and the, the Mark Roberts rig is under the settings, capture settings window here. Under the multiple exposure tab, uh, we can set a couple of exposures here for the right and left eye, and we can specify the distance and the exposure. Click OK, the camera tests where it is, and we're ready to start shooting. Right, so I've finished filming my animation. What I need to do now is export it in a format that I can take it into my uh, video editing application, which in this case for 3D is Sony Vegas, and I do that using the file make movie command, and what I do now is come down and make sure I'm choosing the right exposure um, to start with here, and I'll change the capture, the, uh, the size that I'm going to output the video to, to 1920, click OK, I'll give the file a name, and I'll call it right 2 and that'll make sure that I can identify it as the right eye view when I'm editing. Now that's finished exporting, I will now export the left eye view. Great, now we've exported our clip, we can now open up Sony Vegas and start editing the clip so it's ready in a nice 3D format. Okay, now I'm in Sony Vegas version 10, and what I'm going to do is import my uh, videos that we just shot, so I've got my uh, left and my right eye. I'll open those. What I need to do is also set up my uh, project properties. So under File, Properties, I'll come down here and I, I want it HD obviously, so HD 1080-24p in, in my case here where I filmed it. I'll also adjust some of these other settings. Now here we are, Stereoscopic 3D mode. I want this to be side by side full. I'll click OK. Now what I can do with my two clips selected, so I'll copy, select both of those, right click and from the drop down that appears, pair as stereoscopic subclip. And fantastic, what I can do now is drag that clip that it creates into the timeline here and as you can see it's created this clip. You can also see there's a few black bars here between them. Because our, our camera doesn't capture at 16.9, we need to just crop those. So under the event pan crop little button that appears down the bottom, we'll come in and choose the preset 16.9. Okay, so we now have it nice, filling out the screen nicely. Now let's add some, uh, some other effects here. We've got the, under the plug-in chooser button there, We've got the Sony Stereoscopic 3D Adjust, and we'll click OK. That opens up a, a whole new set of parameters here, and I'll just expand those just so we can have a little look. Uh, there's things like horizontal offset, and if you watch the video clip, the video preview there, you can see it's just shifting the uh, the image to the left and right. It's quite a quite a good way just to come in, make a few changes to the the offset. Uh, there's different parameters there. If your camera wasn't quite level, uh, you can zoom in. There's keystone adjustment, rotation. There's quite a few options that you can explore. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to uh, export the clip because I want to go out to YouTube. Under File, Render As. Okay, and the Render As dialog appears. So I'll give my project a name. New 3, 3D. 
and um, I've set up a little template here but I'll show you how it is so I, I click custom and we get this little dialog here where we set up our custom settings and over here under project is where we really want to check uh, the stereoscopic 3D mode we want to choose is side by side half right oh, I'll just click OK and save and I'll be now saving a file that I can upload to YouTube. I'll put some screen grabs up on our page. You can have a look at those for the parameters you put into YouTube. But uh, with any luck, you'll be able to have your own 3D video being broadcast on YouTube using Stop Motion Pro, Sony Vegas 10, and your Mark Robert Stepper. Thanks for watching.